99% of people who learn to code fail and then quit because they don't understand the reality of learning to code. To show you how to avoid the most common traps and understand all the things that enable you to learn to code faster, I got a complete beginner who had failed to learn to code before to unleash all of his beginner questions at me so I could discover what held him back before and make him amazing at coding as fast as I could. To make things more difficult, this beginner was really bad at math, he's old, dyslexic and he's very busy with his YouTube channel so he doesn't have a lot of time to learn the code. But in the process we actually discovered a very simple process that even he could follow to learn the code successfully. And this process is something that any of you could use to learn the code successfully if you're feeling stuck. And at the end I will reveal whether I was successful in getting him past his worries and to start learning the code again. Thomas, mm. am I too old to code? I don't think anyone's ever too old to code. What about me? I mean, you're pretty old, <laughs> but <laughs> like there's so many people who have become software engineers. Like at my job, one of my closest colleagues was like 40 years old and he had, he, he had been a musician and he had just transitioned into software engineering at the age of like 40 and, and there he was. Like suddenly now he's a software engineer. If you can just learn to code, like companies don't care what your age is necessarily. Like you need to, you just need to have the willingness to keep learning and like just stay ahead and then Tom, am I good looking enough to become a coder? Um Well luckily as a programmer you're just sitting behind a computer and when you're in meetings no one turns a camera on anyway. So you're what? fine. Oh brilliant. Well that's everything I was worried about. Okay, I don't have any time to code, what do I do? I mean, I think anyone can find like two hours of your day. Like I guarantee you, there's like two hours of your day when you're doing something dumb, like you're watching some freaking Netflix or some dumb YouTube videos. You can find that time to code for two hours a day. And like, you don't need to think that you need to do it like six hours a day and otherwise you're not gonna do it. If you just set the goal, okay, from forever, 7 p.m. till 9 p.m. every day, I'm just gonna focus on my coding goals and you just do that every day and if you just do that for long enough like it would be impossible that eventually you don't get good at it you I just, only have half an hour spare, can I get good at coding in that time? There, if you just have half an hour, just spend half an hour as long as you're consistent with it and you, you do something every day or even most days slowly but surely you'll just get better I have 35 seconds a day to learn coding Then spend those 35 seconds and then make them the most effective 35 seconds that you have ever had in your life I don't think I'm smart enough to code. Like people have this stupid misconception that to learn to code you need to be some like math wizard. Learning to code doesn't take intelligence. Learning to code just takes discipline and hard work. It's just like a craft that like, if you just do it over and over and over and over again, no matter how freaking dumb you are, like you're eventually like your brains are just gonna grasp it if you just keep trying to do it for long enough. Like you can get good at it even if, if you're not good. Do you think at it anyone in the world could learn to code to a level where they could get a job? I genuinely think that, well, it's just like learning to ride a bike or like learning to speak a language. Like if you just speak enough, if you just ride enough, like eventually you're just gonna learn it. Max for PCs. Max. <laughs> Mac Master Race. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so all these things that we've heard from Ed so far are something called limiting beliefs. The biggest reason people fail to learn to code is actually not that they don't have the right resources and not even that they don't know what to do. It's that you reject yourself. You make up these external reasons to convince yourself that you can't do it so you don't even try. If you're feeling old, all you have to do is ask yourself, is there someone who was old who still did it successfully? Well, yeah, of course. If you're from a third world country and you're worried like, oh, I can't do it. Is there someone from your country who has done it successfully and who's been able to move to these first world countries that you might want to move to. Well, yeah, obviously. So then why not you? But before we go into the process that I came up with for Ed to learn the code, there's a couple more questions that he asked that I wanted to highlight. What's the number one dumbest mistake that stops people learning to code? They think they should learn to code. Let me explain. People think that coding is like a freaking science, like physics, that you can just like learn all the details and the theories and suddenly you're an amazing programmer like programming is a craft that means you need to actually do it to get good at it it's like trying to learn to ride a bike by like learning all the theoretical details about how bikes work instead of actually riding a freaking bike like people try to learn the code 
by studying it rather than doing it and that's the biggest mistake. It means I mean I, I learned how to ride the bike doing the car. <laughs> so in short, don't learn Python. Use Python. Become one with Python. <laughs> what is the number one thing you wish you knew sooner before you started to code? I wish I realized I wish I just focused on enjoying the journey of actually learning. Because it's pretty cool to learn to code. Like, but you never really make it. You, you always just keep learning and especially in tech like it's the kind of field where you never learn enough there's always more stuff to learn and like if you get into this field you're always going to be learning so i wish i just like focused on enjoying the process of learning more sooner Boolean, and if you, booleans or tuples that question makes no sense <laughs> so with everything that we have learned so far from head i put my doctor had on and prescribed him a very simple step-by-step -step process that he could use right now if he wanted to despite all of these things that he's worried about and actually learn the code in 2023 and here's how it goes step one pick one language that you really want to master and stick to it i recommend python or javascript step two learn the basics of that language step three build projects literally just keep building and failing and failing and building until you at least manage to build a couple of full websites with a front end and a back end and ideally some database component conveniently if you follow my program python developer bootcamp i go through like a full process for this and everything step four make a good like a really good resume with a template that is proven to work with the most impressive projects that you have built so far then find as many companies as possible to apply to from linkedin and just start hustling contact the recruiters contact other engineers working at these companies just apply 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 and if you have followed the process so far you have showcased some really great projects on your portfolio even if you don't have a computer science degree companies will eventually be convinced that yeah this guy probably knows how to code because he's done all of these things and again of course Conveniently, if you choose my program, I go through this whole process of how to showcase your project, how to make this resume, how to apply for jobs. This is actually where most of the value of my program comes from. So if you want one resource to go through all of these steps, you can check out mine. But if not, just do this, like literally just what I described, go through it. And I promise you, like no matter your whatever circumstances, you can do it. So are you ready to quit YouTube and become a programmer now? Yes. Amazing. You taught me everything you know, I'm ready. Amazing. We're gonna delete your channel now. Let me go and code stuff. Yeah. Okay, so probably Ed should just stay a YouTuber because he is quite good at it. But I hope that this video shows you that a lot of us always have the same fears. And the moral of the story is do not let the fears stop you, but rather act in spite of them. Most people don't realize the extent of the work that it requires to actually go from zero to getting a job. If you want to find out more about my program and how it might be able to help you, you can check out this video right here. With that, I will see you in the next one.